You know, seldom has a vice become a status symbol for the rich and powerful like cigars. And this is not a recent phenomenon. Cigars have been a status symbol for hundreds of years. And today, we are going to inhale and appreciate the aroma of weird on today's episode of Five Weird Things. Welcome to the channel. While I've never been a smoker, it's cigarettes I don't like. Cigars and pipes have a completely different aroma. Years ago, one of my best friends from high school sold Cuban cigars illegally, back when we still had the embargo against Cuban goods, and he made a pretty penny from it. So what's your favorite cigar or related to cigar story? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's get into it. First, the stuff we should all know. Cigars are tightly rolled bundles of dried and fermented tobacco leaves that are primarily intended for smoking. Unlike cigarettes, cigars are typically larger, contain more tobacco, and are often associated with a more leisurely and contemplative smoking experience. A cigar is composed of three main parts, the wrapper, the binder, the filler. The wrapper is the outermost leaf. The binder is the leaf that holds the filler together. And the filler is the innermost tobacco that makes up the body of the cigar. Now, cigars have a long history and they are associated with diverse cultures and traditions. They're often enjoyed in social settings or as a personal indulgence. And the appreciation of cigars extends beyond the act of smoking to include the craftsmanship, flavors, and rituals associated with this tobacco product. Weird thing number five. There are a variety of cigars. Cigars come in various shapes and sizes. Now, the shape is referred to as the Vitola, and common shapes include Robusto, Churchill, Toro, and Corona. Now, the size of a cigar typically is measured by its length in inches and its ring gauge, the diameter, in 64ths of an inch. The lengths can vary from just a few inches to just shy of a foot. Weird thing number four. Cigar humor is a serious thing. Because cigars are often enjoyed in a celebratory environment, humor is often entered into the conversation. Now, here are some of the various categories of cigar humor that I found online. Cigar math. This often involves some version of the phrase, how many cigars would you need, dot, dot, dot. Then there's cigar smoke signals. There are some that claim that this is a legitimate language and deserves study. Cigar bands. Now, the bands that hold the cigar together talks about the brand, and, and some of the brands really get elaborate. Well, this leads to contemplation of those bands, and in some instances, very serious collections of them. Weird thing number three, hand-rolled versus machine-made. Hand-rolled cigars are crafted entirely by hand by skilled artisans known as torcedores. These experts meticulously select and blend tobacco leaves, roll them into shape, and apply the wrapper resulting in a more artisanal and personalized product. Hand-rolled cigars are often considered of higher quality due to the attention to detail and the use of premium whole leaves in their construction. This results in a more complex flavor profile and better construction. Hand-rolled cigars offer a better range of shapes, sizes, and blends, providing connoisseurs with a diverse selection to suit their preferences. Hand-rolled cigars are typically more expensive due to the labor-intensive process and the higher quality of tobacco used. Now, machine-made cigars? For automation, machine-made cigars are produced using automated processes where tobacco leaves are cut, rolled, shaped by machines. This allows for quicker production and uniformity in size and shape. Machine-made cigars are consistent in their construction and flavor, offering a predictable smoking experience. However, this uniformity may lack the complexity found in the hand-rolled cigars. Machine-made cigars are generally much more affordable than hand-rolled cigars due to the efficiency of the automated process. The availability. Machine-made cigars are often more widely available and can be found in convenience stores, supermarkets, whereas hand-rolled cigars typically sold in specialty tobacco shops. Good thing number two. Accessories are a whole thing. To start with, there's the humidor. Humidor is a box or container designed to maintain a specific level of humidity, typically around 70%, preserve the freshness and flavor of the cigars. The cutter. A cigar cutter is a tool used to cut the closed end, known as the cap, of the cigar before smoking. The lighter. A high quality lighter is essential for properly lighting a cigar. Butane lighters are commonly used as they provide a clean flame without imparting unwanted flavors to the cigar. 
the ashtray. A cigar ashtray is designed to accommodate the larger size of cigars compared to cigarettes. It often has deeper wells and larger rests to hold the cigar securely. The cigar case, portable container that protects the cigars from damage during transport. Cigar stand is a small accessory that provides a convenient place to rest a cigar when not actively smoking. Hygrometer. While many humidors have built-in hygrometers, some cigar enthusiasts prefer to use a separate hygrometer to ensure the accuracy in monitoring humidity levels. A cigar punch. A cigar punch is a tool that is used to create a small hole in the closed end of the cigar instead of cutting it. This method provides a concentrated draw and it minimizes the risk of unraveling. And then a travel humidor, similar to a regular humidor, a travel humidor designed to maintain the humidity of cigars while on the go, much more portable. And finally, weird thing number one, cigars can be really expensive. Here is an example of the three most expensive cigars I was able to find online. There's one known as the Gran Habano number no. five. $185,000, and the uniqueness is not in its flavor profile or scarcity, but rather its size. The cigar is the single largest cigar in the world. It is six meters long, weighs about 725 kilograms. Another name for this cigar is El Gigante. The Mayan Sicars, $507,000. The half million dollar price tag for these cigars is likely to increase as time goes on. The Mayan Sicar holds incredible historical significance. And apart from cigars, they're also crucial pieces of antiquity. They were created during the Mayan civilization and they are the oldest cigars in the world, dating back about 600 years. Now the Gurkha Royal Courtesan. Gurkha Royal Courtesan is where cigar royalty begins. This cigar's filter is one of the rarest coming from the secluded corners of the Himalayas. It is then watered by filtered Fiji water, and from there, the filter is infused with pearls. When the filter is ready, a masterful cigar wrapper rolls the high-grade and aged tobacco with a gold leaf wrapper. This results in a perfectly rolled premium cigar, and that's not all. The cigar is also bedazzled with five carats of diamond when preparing the packaging. When all the process is completed, the buyer receives this cigar personally by a white-gloved messenger. I think after looking at cigar and cigar culture, the idea is to make it much more of an experience, a bit of a personal event, rather than just sneaking out to have a smoke. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you liked it. If you did or you didn't, let me know down in the comments. And if you made it this far, the code word for this episode is STOGIE. Take care. Have a great night.